hello you guys welcome back to another video and today in this video i'm going to show you how to design this church flyer with photoshop of course you know we do a lot of flyer design tutorials on this channel and if that's something that sounds interesting to you consider subscribing because we'll be bringing more graphic design related videos to this channel and that will be very very nice so with that said let's jump straight into it and this tutorial we will be using adobe photoshop cc 2021 to make this tutorial and that will be very nice so let's open up photoshop and this is the software we'll be using and these are the resources i'll be using for this tutorial we're we'll using all these resources to get this flyer design done okay so when you open your photoshop this is exactly what you see you're going to see a place where you can click on create new so you click on create new and when you click on that it brings up this dialog box where you move to where you have your preset details you can give your file any name you want to give it and then we're going to set our size okay let's click on print and when you click on print you set your size to a5 because we'll be designing an a5 flyer and your orientation should be portrait okay you should leave it at portrait mode and you can set your unit to whatever uh, measurement unit you want to use i will leave it at inches okay then make sure your resolution is set to 300 that's because you may want to print this flyer of course whenever you want to print you design with 300 pixels per inch and if it's a design you want to post on social media then 150 um pixel per inch will be okay so once that is done you can leave every other thing at default your color mode should be rgb because we are working with rgb okay we want to post this online we are not printing it but if we are printing your color mode should be cmyk but with that let's click on create so when you click on create it opens up this canvas where you have to design on so the next thing we are going to do is to treat our background basically i start my flyer designs with background treatment so i want to treat this background to be exactly the way i want okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to unlock this particular background so i can add an fx on it okay so i'll click on fx and when you click on that you click on gradient overlay and when you click on gradient overlay you have this gradient here which we are going to change some things click on your gradient when you click on your gradient it opens up this gradient editor so you select the part where you have the first color make it white and these other parts you can leave it at gray okay hit on okay then double click on this other part and select the gray aspect of this you can see the color code you can use the same code so you have the same colors with mine okay let's see that code that's b b to b to b two okay that's it and you hit on ok once you're done with that hit on ok again and then it's time for us to edit our, our gradient make sure it's set to the center just like that and make sure your style your gradient style is um radial okay so you bring this white when you click and draw you can move this to the center here and adjust your scale and make it large a little place this at the center and that'll be cool and nice you can hit on ok once you are done with that then let's open up our folder where we have the resources we'll be using for this particular design okay so i'm going to double click on where i have my love val vector okay and i'm going to leave all the links the link to these resources in the description so you can check it out and get your own designs done okay so i'm going to open up this um ai file open that up and let's see what we get and the file opens up so for you to be able to open this particular file you have to have adobe illustrator installed to your pc because i got this particular resource from pick best i made a video i reviewed pick best on this channel so you can use the link in the description to sign up and start using pick best so i use this i got this resource from pick best so when you open this up this missing font dialog comes up you can just close that because you're not looking for the font then we want to extract 
some resources here we'll be needing for our designs first i'm going to select that and ungroup that i'll just pick out exactly what i want and that's what i want so i'll pick that up i can ungroup that again and take away this law because i don't want that black one so i'll take that out take this out this and this and this is uh, exactly what i want so i'll select that copy that press ctrl c on your keyboard to copy and then you can take it to photoshop so you can easily copy vectors in photoshop in adobe illustrator or rather and bring it to adobe photoshop okay so when you get to photoshop all you have to do is to press ctrl v and it brings up this uh, pop-out menu so you can just uh select pixels okay hit on okay and it opens up just like this and that's exactly what we want so i'm going to reduce that and place it the, the way i want and hit on okay so once that is done you can see it comes into the design and it makes our design pop okay makes our design to stand out and that's what exactly we are using for this then i need this to be a kind of reddish so i'll be playing around with the colors here it's not looking red okay but i want to make this look very very reddish so to get that done i'm going to press ctrl b on my keyboard first to add my color balance and move the red uh move this bar to the red aspect and add a little yellow okay just a little yellow and hit on okay so once you're done with that you can press ctrl l on your key please adjust the levels okay so i'll bring this back a little you can see it's becoming reddish and bring this to the front a little so we get the exact red we are looking for okay so this looks reddish the way we want so you hit on okay once you are done with that so at this point i'm trying to design our focal point first you know your focal point is the aspect of your design you want to use to attract your viewers attention okay so whenever you are designing church flyers make sure you are conscious of your focal point your focal point is the aspect of your design where you want to use to draw your viewers attention your focal point should stand out and look very very nice so once that is done next thing we want to do is to bring in the text which is going to be on our focal point so you activate your text tool just hit T on your keyboard to activate your text tool. then you can click on anywhere around your design let's change this font to let's change the typeface rather to bootmo jiggler okay that's the typeface i'll be using so i'll be leaving the uh, font name in the description so you can check it out as well and get that done. so let's change the typeface so we can change the typeface to so let's zoom in there so you can see very well okay budmo jiggler so once you type that this is the typeface here i'm going to pick this particular one here okay budmo jigglish okay i have two versions budmo jigglish and budmo jiggler so i'll be using budmo jigglish for this hit on that and this is how the typeface looks like okay so with that i'm going to change the typeface I'm going to change the text to love hit on enter and type fiesta okay love fiesta so this is exactly the text we'll be using for this i'm going to highlight or control a once you have your cursor on a text you can always press control a to highlight the text then you click on center alignment okay and then we want to adjust the leading okay so you hit on your char character panel and adjust your leading make the fiesta to go close to love just like that and it looks perfect and nice then you can activate your transform by pressing ctrl t okay once the layer is selected the love fiesta is selected you press ctrl t to transform and increase the size just like that and bring it down to where we have this love here you can place it around there that looks perfect and nice okay so with that done next thing we are going to do is to add a stroke to love fiesta so we can make that love fiesta stand out okay so you come to where you have your uh, layer style to add a layer style then you click on that 
and when you click on that you click on stroke okay so once you click on stroke it brings up this layer style dialog again and we're going to adjust a stroke so we are going to come to where we have a fill type click on fill type and give it a gradient so we want to give our stroke a gradient okay before then let's increase our stroke size something like this okay so you get something like this you are at the same page with me so something like 27 pixels is okay then we are going to play with the gradient click on your gradient editor and then let's delete this particular one here and you can just set your gradient make sure one of them is red okay so we have red here and then on this other part we'll have uh, a darker color like black okay that's that's cool okay then we're going to play around with this hit on okay again then let's adjust the gradient we don't need much black okay so we're going to adjust this and then let's reverse this view okay so black comes down red goes up so bring it down just like this that looks very perfect and very nice you can see law fiesta stands out very well so at this point you can give it a shadow so to give it a shadow just click check on drop shadow so we have a little shadow they click on your drop shadow so we can adjust the drop shadow okay so we can increase the size a little increase the opacity a little and make sure your distance is just at 33 your spread your spread should be 11 okay let me zoom in there your spread should be 11 your size 95 your distance 33 pixels and your opacity can be 88 percent okay that looks cool and nice hit on okay and once you hit on okay you can see exactly what we have here it looks very clean and very very nice so with this we can now bring in the church name and bring in the rest of the details that we have okay so in general i'm trying to make this design to be as simple as possible okay so i'm going to open up the word document i have here i'm going to highlight all this text here and copy that and let's bring it to the top of the design okay so i'm going to activate my text tool again hit on t on your keyboard to activate your text tool then you're going to click on anywhere around your design and paste press ctrl v to paste that but you can see it's taking the same font we have used for law fiesta but i don't want to use the same font okay so i highlight or ctrl a to highlight all and let's change this to poppins okay so i'll be using poppins for this so i'll choose poppins black okay so poppins black will be on um youth ministry assemblies of god church so i'm going to highlight assemblies of god church and reduce the font i'll change the font to bold okay so i'll highlight the venue of the church i'll change that to let's say uh regular so we have this um contrast between the names okay so no much um disturbance here the the, the font has different levels and it has contrast so the idea here is that when things in your design have contrast it's always easy for your viewer to read through your design okay so press ctrl a to highlight all let's make the text black just like that and then align to the left because we are going to bring in the logo of the church highlight youth ministry and increase the font size you can just bring your keyboard to this icon and increase the font size just like that and then we're going to highlight the church venue and reduce the font size a little just like that and it looks perfect you can see the arrangement looks very perfect then we're going to adjust our uh, leading a little you know where to adjust that on your character panel adjust your leading so the names separate from each other a little and we have something very clean as this then highlight youth ministry and make it red color give it a red color just like that okay so we have a red color here for youth ministry that looks cool you can hit on okay once you're done with that to place your stuff okay place it around here then we're going to bring in the logo for this so i'm going to go back and bring in the logo around here bring it to photoshop drag and drop okay so whatever thing you bring inside photoshop photoshop automatically um 
create a new layer for it you can see all the layers of whatever we bring into photoshop photoshop gives it a name and place it places it on a fresh new layer like the logo we just brought in is on the top layer okay so i'm going to reduce the size of the logo and place it around here just like that and hit on okay that looks very cool and very very nice so next thing we're going to do is to separate this a little take it back a little let's draw a stroke in between the logo and the church name okay so i'm going to come to where i have my elix to you just click and drop down it has more tools inside of it so you click on where you have your line tool okay so click on your line tool and let's hold shift and create this straight line just like that and let's reduce the stroke weight because it's too much reduce it to let's say five pixel it's perfect okay so that's cool i think it's even too much again hit on you to activate your line tool again and reduce the size to three pixels and let's see how it looks like. okay two pixels looks perfect so that's cool that's very cool and very very nice so with that we're going to highlight we're going to select all these layers where we have all these things happening here so we group it into one layer okay so when you highlight all these layers like this we have the line the logo and the church name you press ctrl g to group so you can name this group church name okay you can name it church name and that looks cool and very nice then hold ctrl and place it at the center just like that so we have the church name at the center just like that and next thing we're going to do is to type present okay so hit on your text tool once again click anywhere around your design and type um present okay press ctrl a to highlight present and change the color to black okay then we're going to change the font to poppins regular okay and i like adjusting my present this way i like adjusting the tracking so you hit on your character panel and adjust your tracking just like that something around 440 is perfect okay just like this you can see it right here 440 there is very very perfect okay so um with that we're going to close this up and hit on okay and bring your present to the center of your design but present is too large so i'm going to press ctrl t hold alt and reduce your present just like that take it up a little so you can have more space down the design and then we're going to hit on love fiesta on the layer hold shift and click on the uh, love shape and using your direction keys on your keyboard you can take that up a little and that looks very perfect and nice so we have the church name here present love fiesta very cool and very nice so next thing we are going to bring in here is season one so i'm going to hit on you again when you hit on you it activates this tool if you click and hold it brings up this drop down where you can click on rectangle tool click on rectangle tool and create shape just like this very cool and then when you zoom in you have this point where you can make a curve so you hold on one of them and make this curve just like that and take off your stroke we don't need any stroke for this instead give it a red feel just like that and this looks very perfect and very nice then take it up a little let's give this a kind of uh, feel again let's give it a, a, a kind of gradient feel hit on you so whenever you activate uh, whenever you are on a layer of a rectangle just like this you can always hit on you to edit that particular rectangle so when you hit on you it brings up this options where you can click on your view and let's give it a gradient view so you click on where you have gradient view when you click on gradient you have something that looks like this okay so we're going to adjust the gradient to black okay something brownish like that and then you hit on okay hit on this other aspect and give it red so we have something that looks like this okay and then hit on okay again and with that we can um we can adjust this okay on the scale we can adjust the scale a little so we can have the gradients flowing perfectly and that's okay so once you have that done you can activate your text tool again and type season season um 
two okay then next thing we're going to do is to change this font change it to poppins because we we want to reflect poppins you know it's a rule in graphic design that you should always use um two fonts or three at most if it's too much three at most okay so uh, i'm going to make this poppins bold that's perfect and it should be white color then you take it up to where you have this shape just right there i can increase the size of season two again that looks perfect and very 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 nice okay then i'm going to highlight um season two and select the rectangle tool just like that press ctrl g to group them and then you can press ctrl t and rotate a little just like that take it to the top of this a just like that so we have something that looks like this looks very cool and very very nice then we're going to give this um we're going to give it a shadow so you hit on your layer style and click on drop shadow to give it this shadow so it can separate itself from um the back okay you can reduce the size of the shadow and reduce the opacity a little and reduce the direct the distance okay take it back a little hit on okay once you're done with that so it looks a kind of realistic there okay so that's perfect then at this point we are almost done with the design we need to bring in other write-ups so i'm going to go to my word document again and copy out this stuff here where we have the theme okay the theme is sex love and marriage so you copy that and take it to um photoshop hit on your text tool again and paste this text just right there now you, you need to stick around to the end of this design because there is something i'm going to show you that will blow your mind i bet you you might have not known this okay make sure you stick around to the very end of this tutorial so i'm going to show you this stuff okay then i'm going to adjust my text make sure everything is black okay change the colors to black just like that and separate this like this make sure it's sex love and then you bring marriage down okay so we have something that looks like this i like sex love and marriage change the font to black okay change it to poppins black so we have this bolder than others and then team you reduce reduce the size of team reduce it a little to let's say eight point a little we're going to adjust that so don't worry about that then you can adjust the tracking i like adjusting my tracking just like that and give it a red color just like that so your team can be poppins bold and your um sex love and marriage can be poppins black okay so with that we can highlight um and marriage and make it red as well so we can have a little contrast around that aspect of the design then at this point we're going to press ctrl t to transform increase the size of this text and take it just right under there wow this is cool very nice it should be at the center of the design increase the size again that's perfect and very very nice hit on okay once you're done with that so it seems marriage is very close to sex love and so we're going to highlight marriage okay when you highlight marriage hit on your character panel and adjust okay the leading again so it separates itself a little and that looks cool and very nice just ensure that there is proximity around all the elements of your design you know proximity helps you to group related elements just as we have grouped the church name here we group the present here and we group the team here that's how the rule of proximity works okay so at this point you can see our, our design is looking very clean and it's but i want to show you one thing i do to make my flyer designs pop out okay it it, it, it pops out perfectly so let's see how it goes so the next thing i'm going to do is to bring in um featuring copy that and let's take it to photoshop when you bring it to photoshop activate your text tool once again and then paste your featuring just like that it's too tiny okay so we're going to highlight that change change the font to poppins again poppins uh medium will be perfect okay poppins medium and then let's adjust our font size so let's adjust our uh, uh, font to let's say 18 point 
18 is too much 12 points is perfect and then let's adjust our leading to automatic so it looks perfect just like that so auto makes your leading to be automatically perfect okay so we're going to reduce the size of the font again let's 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 separate that again let's adjust the leading again so it looks perfect this way then you can always highlight your featuring and adjust the tracking you know i like adjusting my tracking and make it red okay give it a red color just like that then we're going to bring it to the center of the design just place it right there and you can reduce the font again reduce the font size so it won't be too large because we are making a kind of visual hierarchy you know visual hierarchy is the arrangement of elements from the most important to the less important you are drawing people people's attention to different elements you want them to set their eyes on first so this design is basically obeying the rules of design okay so you can see how i've been able to obey the rule of movement as well directing people to read from the top to the bottom okay so let's let's play around with this text here using your uh, rectangle to create this shape around here just like that and then reduce the um reduce the pixel the stroke size reduce it a little re reduce it to let's say six or four pixels let's see how it looks okay that's perfect then if you zoom in you see this point create a curve around it just like that so you get something that looks like this our design is looking very simple and very very neat okay so next thing i'm going to do is to um bring in my dates okay at this point i'm going to be very fast because you may start losing interest in watching this video so let me be very fast So basically, all what I did was to type my dates and I created these shapes around these dates just like this. And I gave this one a red gradient, I gave this one a black gradient, and I gave this one a yellow and orange gradient. Then I brought my time and venue around here. So with that, I'm going to select all the layers where we have everything happening here and put them in the same group. So I'll select the name, the icons, my time, and the dates. And I'll select all the angles on this um layers i'm going to select all of that and press ctrl g then you can name this um date time venue okay so when you name that you group them into one layer so they work together just like that and that looks perfect and very very nice so we are done with the arrangement of all our write-ups next thing we are going to arrange is going to be to bring in some other stuff to make our design pop out so i'm going to go back to our adobe illustrator file and copy out this particular flower here press ctrl c to copy it go to photoshop and press ctrl v and hit on okay okay then you place this around here so in place that they hit on okay we're going to change the color again just like what we did to the first one press ctrl b to activate your color balance and take this to red and add little yellow hit on okay then press ctrl l to adjust your levels okay so you bring this back a little and bring this up a little so we have it red just like that okay so next thing we are going to do is to add some motion blur on this so you come to where you have your filter come to uh blur and you go to where you have your motion blur so you have your motion blur just like that you can reduce the distance okay reduce it a little reduce it let's say 24 pixels is perfect hit on okay so you can always adjust your um angle your angle of your blur 
so you know the angle where the blood the motion blood is going to i will turn this around to let's say um let's place it at 54 degrees okay 54 degrees and hit on okay so you have something that looks like this okay press ctrl j to duplicate this particular layer and bring one of these to this other side and press ctrl j again and bring one of these to this other side so we have something that looks like this it looks very cool and nice you can adjust this again so basically these are things we just bring in into the design to make it pop so next thing we want to do is to go back to the adobe illustrator file again hit on this particular love shape okay so i'm going to pick one of these love shape release clipping mark so you can select it copy that take it to photoshop again and press ctrl v then hit on okay to paste that you can place this around here reduce the size place it around here okay hit on okay so let's give it that same red color ctrl b and then adjust the red and adjust your levels just like that okay so it's shiny that's perfect then you press ctrl j to duplicate and bring this one down here reduce the size just like that you can rotate this this way and hit on ok then you press ctrl j again to duplicate and bring it to this other side you press ctrl t to transform reduce the size again so as it's coming down it becomes smaller so you have big uh we have big bigger and biggest so basically this is exactly what we have then i'm going to bring in my lens flare here click and drag to photoshop and then make sure it's at the top okay drop it there then take it to the top layer it should be at the top layer then change your blending option you see your blending mode here change it to screen so what screen does is screen always reduce any dark part of your image the darker part of your image will be reduced while the brighter part will come back to life so i'm going to take my uh, lens flare to the center here so we have love fiesta then i'm going to uh, do the last stuff which i promise you guys i'll be showing you how to get it done okay so i'm going to bring in some kind of sparkling light around this design create a fresh new layer when you are at the top layer click on the plus icon here to create a fresh new layer so when you click on that plus icon you have this new layer here then you're going to set this particular layer to dodge linear dodge okay hit on linear dodge then you click on your brush when you click on your brush to make sure your brush is selected then if your brush size is not showing deactivate your cap lock so hit on your cap locks to, to off your cap locks okay then when you do that you can use your left square bracket and your right square bracket to decrease or increase your brush size and make sure that your uh foreground is set to this color when you open up your foreground you set it to uh let's say yellow but we're going to choose this darker part of the orange like that this tone make sure it's let's say let's show you can see e75200 you can use something that is as dark as that then hit on okay so once you, you hit on okay you can now splash this brush on some aspects of your design to make it pop you can see splash it around here splash it around here then you can splash it on the text also just splash it around the flowers a little and you get something that looks very cool and nice just like that it shouldn't be too much okay it shouldn't be too much just a little around your design and it makes your design pop so at this point i i think this design is done so finally to make this design stand out to make this design sparkle i'm going to add my camera raw filter that's one of the things i do to my flyers and it makes my flyers to pop and people will be asking me how do you make your designs to stand out to be shiny to be to pop okay so what i do is i'll go to where i have my filter and i'll go to but before then i'm going to select all the layers starting from the first layer to the last layer hold shift and highlight all then you press ctrl j and reason why i do this is because just in case if my client wants to make a review on the design it will be easy then you press ctrl e to merge all these layers that you've duplicated so i still have my editable layers here which i can change things 
anytime and i have the image layer up here you come to where you have your image come to where you have your trim and then you trim your top left right bottom so when you trim that it takes away all the extra spaces you can see it takes away the extra images of the of the design those ones that we cannot see that are outside the design and limited to the boundaries of your canvas so when you trim that off you come to where you have your filter come to camera raw filter then i have a lot of camera raw presets i will not be showing you how to <laughs> adjust the camera raw here i'll be using my presets let me know down in the comments if you like to have my camera raw presets and i'll give you as many as i have all these presets here are the ones i created personally on my own so let me know down in the comments if you like to have this preset. So for this particular design, I'm going to click on add that. Okay. So most times I set my preset based on the client name I used in creating that uh, preset. Maybe I did a job and I added a camera rough. I would name it with the client's job. So I'll, I'll click on add that. And I have another one I like using the most, which is alter. So when I click on alter, other and that looks almost the same. I prefer Adat for this one. So I'll use that particular camera raw preset. It's my own. So you won't see it in your own Photoshop. Let me know down in the comments if you like to have mine. Okay, then hit OK once you're done with that. So let's see the difference. You can see the before and after. You can see how this is shiny and it's sparkling very well. Let's see before and after. If you off this, you see before, after, before, after. It looks perfect let me zoom in so you can see very well how shiny this is you can see how it sparkles okay so that's exactly how this camera raw preset works if you like to learn more on how to design with photoshop click on this playlist on your screen and keep watching thanks so much for watching it's dennis here from denix creatives and i will see you in the next video peace